You like to eat crab leg. Oh, this that's it right here? That's crab leg right there? That's crab leg right there. That's cool. One, want, two. You want two? You want two? Two claws? We're going to wash them. You got to wash them. I'm going to clip some of this off and make sure ain't none of the green slimy stuff in there. We're going to clean it. You got to wash it good. It's good? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Cool. Washing the potatoes. And then we're going to cut up the sausage. We're going to do one pack of beef sausage, one pack of turkey sausage. And we're going to wash them off, chop that up. We're going to boil this in a pot with onion powder, garlic powder, cilantro, seasoning. And then if for the people that want seafood, we'll add some seafood. For the people that just want the potatoes and the sausage or potato, sausage, mushrooms, or whatever you choose to do. Once we dice these up, that's what we'll do next. We want to cut. So we already put in a little bit of garlic powder. So we're gonna do the body of complete herbs. It's got onion, garlic, and then I think we've got, let's see what else is in it. Herbs, spices, so it doesn't specify, but I like to use parsley, cilantro anyway, so I always add that. Cilantro, we'll add a little bit of Tabitha Brown. And then at the end, we'll add a little bit of Old Bay. I'm gonna wash the corn. Anytime that it's meat involved, I always soak it in um, vinegar. With the crab meat, I'm going to just kind of clean out the tips of it, rinse it with cold water. I don't like any of the dumps or any any debris from the ocean or any of that stuff in there. Mix it up this. And yes, my hands are clean. I usually wear gloves with every single step. But this is just hold on baby, not yet. Yeah, not yet. This is just rinsing, so. And it's corn, no biggie. And it's for us. We are washing the sausage. Next, we're going to get our gloves and we're gonna cut these babies up. Get ready to cut. So, once we start cutting these, we're just gonna cut them about that big, kinda like that. You. You're gonna cut them just like that, and then you're gonna put them either you can do skillet or in a pot. I'm gonna put them in the pot because this is gonna be pretty much like a sausage, potato, corn boil. And then for the people that eat seafood, we'll add yeah. seafood and all that kind of stuff. You like to eat crab leg. Oh, this that's it right here. That's crab leg right there. That's crab leg right there. That's cool. One, no. two. You want two? You want two? Two claws. We're gonna wash them. You gotta wash them. I'm, I'm gonna clip some of this off and make sure ain't none of the green slimy stuff in there. We're gonna clean it. Yeah, you're a big boy. So I like to clip anything that just looks nasty, yucky. I clip that out. And the green slime, I always get that out of each each thing then i wash them really good then i cook and boil, boil them or either bake them but i like to clip all of that out because i like to suck everything out of the inside so like if you don't clean this stuff out of here i just don't feel like that's sanitary everybody feels different but i don't like nothing green so i clip all that out all right so once each piece looks like this clean nothing yucky you've clipped it then you're gonna be ready to Put it inside either your pot or your baking pan to boil or bake or however you choose to do it. But it'll be about 10 minutes. And then you're going to get your herbs and all your seasonings. And you're going to have a good time. And then get your garlic butter mix. Go from there. 
So in here I have some oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay, different things. So what I'm going to do is put this in the pot with everything that I've combined. And then I also have some boiled eggs that I will add at the end. But this is the present. I've got this for the crab lovers. And then under here is some potatoes and corn. I have over here sausage and then I have the other potatoes that are in the oven that I'll put with that for the ones that just want the potatoes and sausage and corn and then like I said I have the boiled eggs we've got some garlic butter and herb this right here is my little mixture I'm gonna put in here and we'll go from there now we're gonna drench it with some salt and we're gonna put it in oven yeah. sit for a little cool. bit and we'll put a little bit of water on there let that sit until the other gets done and go from there you can also put it in some bags and make like a boil yeah yeah news it's news mm -hmm. it you gotta keep yourself calm down had a little meltdown moment there, so took a little break. Now we're back. Let me get you some corn. Alright. Like Alright. Okay, so we're just gonna put them in these rotisserie baking bags. This one is spicy, so we got hot sauce in here, Cajun seasoning. This one is gonna be garlic herb, and so we just got a little bit of the herb butter and garlic powder onion powder and then this third one is going to be lemon pepper so we're going to bag it up and put it in there all done yeah, here that's crap lit come here Yeah, it's good. It's good? It's so it's good. Yeah. Cool. Good, yeah. Okay, go eat corn. It's time to taste it. It's time to taste it. Mm. This is my personal bag, so yeah. Mm. I don't like to watch people eat, but she like to me. People like to do that. Oh my! Uh... Mmm.